Rhodes University will soon have three new residences up here. We spoke with the safety officer, Vincent van der Maver, to find out more about the actual construction, which then led us to Dr. Ian Lange, the Director of Infrastructure and Finance at Rhodes University. Tell us of the construction of the, of the actual uh, buildings will be similar to the ones that are already built here in Hilltop. Yes, it is, will be exactly the same, more or less, as the one we have right behind us. Um, and all three will be exactly the same. It's going to be the same, what we call almost Z shape, Okay. of all of the existing buildings up the hill. So, Kalata, all of those? All ones. of those. Obviously, there will be minor um, differences. We sat down with David Fryer, a senior lecturer at the Economics Department, so that he could explain the financing involved in new residences. The reses are something at Rhodes that has made a surplus, right? So the reses actually uh, are in the green, they're not in the red. I mean, although, as I said, the fact that the price, there are political problems with putting up the prices now every year could be a problem. Other thing is new reses are much more efficient. Um, so if you look at these old, they're wonderful, you know, like Courtney Latimer, but the cost of the maintenance of those reses with the, you know, they're small, uh, is, is quite bad. Project budget for the whole completed three residences yes. is 101 million rand. This is earmarked funding. Yeah. Um, it is a, it's, it's a national program mm. for developing infrastructure of all campuses. Mm. Even with Dr. Lange's explanation as to how exactly the new residences are being funded, this did not explain the lack of communication conveyed to both student and staff. We, I didn't really know about it. I don't know if other people knew it was happening. Actually, I didn't know, like, really as to there were new reses being built because this is obviously there hasn't been anything quite official being communicated by the management concerning the like awareness of residences being like built and stuff. So I somewhat didn't know until I kind of like find it out like on Facebook. Due to this lack of communication, there are students who believe that the money could be used elsewhere. So I'm not sure exactly how to feel about it, but I just feel like, yes, some kids will get accommodation, but at the same time, some kids, you know, are excluded because they don't have money to pay for university. Like the money that they're using to build the raises at the round campus, I feel personally that it could be used to, to fund some of the students that have been financially excluded and could not come back and further their education. So we are standing here in between Talata House and Rosa Parks watching as men work tirelessly to ensure that the buildings are up before the end of the year. A safety officer has confirmed that these buildings should be up before the end of November 2017. I'm Shanara Tiff for RUTV Rhodes University.